Take it away. Yo, just before the video starts, I wanna give everyone a heads up. The audio is a little bit scuffed throughout. I'm not using the mic I'm using right now for this video. So yeah, forgive me. Quality will be better in the next ones, but the video's still the same. You're gonna learn how to do an explosion. Okay, you guys ready? I am. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so step one, we want to delete the cube. Step two, shift A and insert an icosphere. Step three, Let's subdivide it. This is going to be the basis of our explosion. Step four, I'm going to stop doing steps. Okay, so once we have our icosphere there with our subdivisions, we want to go over to the modifiers and add a displacement modifier. This will enlarge our shape. But what we want to do is add a texture. And from there, we want to go down to the texture tab and change it to a cloud texture. We can also do a Voronoi texture. I'm going to show you how to do it both ways, but either way works is down to personal preference mess with the settings the size the intensity i recommend not to go too far with it because <laughs> we're making an explosion we don't we don't actually want to make an explosion if you get what i'm saying your pc might not be able to run it so with the voronoi texture we want to go down to its color ramp and invert the colors so that we can get more of that cloudy feel instead of it sinking inwards once you've done that, name your textures accordingly as well. I called mine Boom. Now that we have our shape, we want to be able to control the textures we just made with an empty. Shift A, empty. Then scale it up and move it to the side. So what we want to do is click our object, go over to the displacement mods that we made and change the location of the coordinates to object. And then we select our empty as the object. And now, boom, magic. We can now animate the clouds. Now that we've done all that, we just have to duplicate a couple times, different variations, small ones, big ones, uh, some inside, some around. Play about with this bit, but then, yeah, bada boom, bam, bing, bam, boops. We got the bases of our explosion ready. Now, last thing we wanna do for the overall setup is add a lattice. So we do shift A, click lattice, enlarge it make sure it's covering the whole of the explosion we just made and then we go down to the lattice settings which is this green icon here and we want to turn up the resolution of it for all of the axes so i've done it at a level of six for each one the x y and z once we've done all that select all of the objects and then the last one to select is the lattice we do shift p and we do a lattice deformation we click that and then now our object is parented to the lattice why make a lattice if we made the controllers well let me tell you now i shall tell you i shall tell you the tricks and trades of what we need all right let me stop the reason why we're using a lattice right now is because it gives us an extra layer of deformation on our objects without us destroying it so it's a non-destructive way of adding an extra layer of detail plus with these details that we make, we're able to make shape keys, which are set poses that we can control with a value. So zero is our normal shape. As soon as we turn it up to one, it will give us the pose that we are creating. So I'm only going to make two poses for this one. I want to make a flat pose. So that's where our explosion begins. And then I want to make an exaggerated stretch pose to show that our explosion has landed. Okay, cool. All the setup's done, all our lattices are done. All we have to do now is duplicate what we just done so that we have two lattices now. One is gonna be our base of our explosion and then the other is gonna be the um, secondary expansion of it. Okay, so for animation, I'm not gonna go in too much detail because that's a whole, that's a whole other thing. You know what I mean? You think that's hard? I'm just a tutorial level! That's the next level over there! Word you But what I will do is give you some guidance and some tips so that you'll be able to work with what we just made now. So, animation is all about momentum and feel. What What is the context that this object is moving? Did that make sense? I don't know if that made sense. What I'm trying to say is... Place your keys with purpose. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. That's right, emotional content. 
So what I did, let me break it down a bit more easier for you. So I made three frames, one on contact, one for explosion and one for the aftermath. With those three frames, I'm able to tweak, bring them closer together, further apart to figure out the timing of what type of explosion do I want. Once you have those three keys, you're good to go. It's just a matter of experimentation between getting from A, B to C. Figure out your timing because it's your timing. It's not mine. It's yours. This is mine. This is my timing. If you want to copy that, then... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have now opened up a Patreon. For those that have been here for a while, you, you, you know that I ain't been the most consistent with uploads, right? But that's about to change, okay? For some that may know, animation is a time-consuming and tedious process, so I've had to choose wisely with the projects that I've taken on. It's either create the projects I want to make or create stuff that pays my bills <laughs> but i'm beginning to be in a more flexible state where i'm able to prioritize more personal projects but the ultimate goal is to be able to transition over to creating more independently and building upon that so if you guys really do enjoy what i do and would like to see me grow and build upon what i've already started putting out patreon is the place i'm also making a discord attached to this patreon where I'll be posting updates on projects, some downloadable goodies, even the blend file from this tutorial you're watching right now. So, yeah. So if that is something that piques your interest and you would like to help a brother out, check out the Patreon, all right? Okay, cool, back to the video, stay blessed. Okay, let's make a shader. What we wanna do, grab one, only one of the little explosion clouds that we made and we're gonna start building the shader off of that first and foremost delete the pbr shader that they give you delete that and we're going to add a emission shader this shader is like a glow shader and then once we do that shift a add a mix rgb and then after that add a color ramp these things here the mix rgb is so that we can choose the color of what we want our explosion to be and then with the color ramp this allows us to play with the the strength values of what will be shadow and what will be light you know after that we want to get a shader to rgb node and then a diffuse shader node we'll plug the diffuse shader into the R, uh, shader to rgb and then the shader to rgb into the color ramp these two nodes that we just added detects the light information in our 3d scene so that we can get those um tune shadows the b spline allows you to have that arcane look but we're going for a bit more of a sharper feel. We want we want to go for more of the Breath of the Wild, um, Dragon Ball Z Fighters type of shading. So we're going to go with constant. Once we add our light to the scene, you should be able to see what I'm talking about um, with how the shader reacts to the light. We're using a sun lamp for this one because we're not going to do anything too crazy with the lighting. We just want it so that our explosion pops and we can see the difference between where the light is hitting and where the shadows are we it will give our explosion a lot more depth tweak the colors to your liking i felt like the white to black contrast was a bit too sharp so i made it the black a little bit more gray um yeah once you've done all those steps bada boom bam bing bap boops you will have your explosion Yeah, boom. <laughs> no pun intended. You see, see what I did? Yeah, hope you like the video. Um, more tutorials are on the way. Matter of fact, I got a little snippet of one that I'm looking to do soon right now. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> 